YouTube family. <laughs> Manny with Ada is here. Uh, I think it's about 8 p.m. Right? Um, off the wall preppers coming on live, so I'll be uh, live stream and probably a, a panel. I'll be watching. I, you know what, guys? This is so stressful. Okay, this whole pandemic mess or the pandemic, I call it the freaking pandemic. I am so mad. I am frustrated. I'm just taking a walk. I am tired. Oh, look at the moon. It's beautiful. Where is it? Oh, not you. There you go. The moon is beautiful today. Look at the streets, guys. Look at this. Empty. You know? It wasn't like this before. When the hell are you going to get back to normal? What the hell is normal? Oh. It's very stressful, guys. You know? Um, I didn't you know I ain't used to this mess. I got to get used to it, but damn. Oh. oh, it smells good. Must be a restaurant still open or somebody cooking. It smells the whole block. Well, probably my pizzeria down the, down the other side. I'm gonna walk past the bridge, show ya. Let's see how these, oh God, it smells like so free to win. Ah, somebody cooking something good or they're having a barbecue or something around here. Look how quiet it is. It's so quiet, right here where I'm standing at, right here, they always had a party on the weekends, always. That's the only house had a party on the weekends. And um, uh, and sometimes I would be the DJ there too. So I, I'm out of business. I can't make a buck. I'm just spending what I get monthly. You know. Oh, I gotta watch where I'm stepping. <laughs> it's nice and windy. Feels good. Look at these streets, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Empty. Not a soul in the street. Even in the summer, it was like this. Empty. Empty. People just rolled, you know, in the cars and like, do what they got to do. And then they park back and run in the house. Like, like, like there's a... Uh, Aliens are walking around outside or something. Yeah, I'm the alien right now. Because people run away from each other. Stay away from each other. You know. Damn. What the heck? Get tired of this crap. And you can't let your guard down either, you know? So that's worse. You, if you go out, if you take chances on going out... Then you got a freaking quarantine and stuff. I, um, I spoke to my brother today at upstate New York. And his behind and his wife were in Queens, uh, New York. And she sent me some uh, <laughs> screenshots of... Um, this are the train tracks. This is the New Jersey Transit. That's what's behind where I live at. So actually, it's like a wooded area, okay? It's like a wooded area down there. And there is no way to be cutting through nowhere, okay? Unless you're gonna wanna get electrocuted. So guys, which way do I go? There's my favorite pizzeria. And they do delivery. Oh, they make some good pizzeria. I'll have some money at home. I'm gonna pick it up a slice. Let's walk down this way. I just want, I just need to get out. I just needed to get the hell out of the house. I didn't want to see the front and the back of the house. I just wanted to, to um. Oh God! These cars—they just zoom. They just zoom. Oh damn! There's no sidewalk around this side. It's all grass because that's a train track. So. See how pitch dark that train tracks are? Look how pitch dark. Those are train tracks, guys. So, yeah, everybody's locked up in their homes. 
All you see is cars zooming back and forth and they get to their destination and they run inside their houses. Everybody's afraid of everybody. Oh, look at this beautiful house. I haven't seen this house in all, in all it's in, in almost two years. Look at this beautiful house. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Now, I live in a beautiful neighborhood like this. All the houses are, you know, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, look at this. Virgin Mary. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. These are all beautiful houses over here. I live in a nice neighborhood, guys. You know, this town is like that. There's all, you know, nice little houses. That's all there is. Some walking their dog. Down here is getting a little noisy. Let me turn back around. I'm not really wandering too far and get jumped and shit. You, know? you never know. You never know, because that's the new new. People be jumping thinking you got money. Or gold chains or something. Oh, it's not your phone? I'll fight for this phone. Oh, they can keep it. <laughs> they can keep it. I'll just tell them to give them my one terabyte SD card and keep the phone. <laughs> Guys, I emptied out the card today. Okay? So they didn't ask no more darn questions. Google left me alone. Google left me alone. I hate when that Google be popping up. About uh, your memory is full. What memory? And Google's losing his mind, or she's losing her mind. Whichever one it is, he or she. Oh, Lord, see, cars be just zooming. You can't even walk down the streets, they be zooming. They run your ass over. <laughs> It's Friday night. On a day like today, I would be, let's see, it's too early to go out. Not even eight o'clock yet. But I would have probably been throwing down in a club already, bar, restaurant, making a buck instead of taking the little bit of bucks that I have to be crazy food shopping. And I'm not shopping anymore, guys. That's about it. I, I am not shopping anymore. I'm done. It'll be what it'll be. I've been shopping for over a year. And um, the past six months... I hit it heavy, okay? Right now, um, I have an order that I got yesterday. Oh, look at the moon. Now you can hear it. Let me see. Let me see the moon. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Not the light. There it is. That's the moon. It's beautiful. It's like in between the clouds. Well, at least I get to see the moon. I don't see no moon in the house. All I see is a TV screen giving me all kinds of panoramic pictures because I'm tired of the news. Today I'm like tired of everything. Today I am like tired of everything, guys. You know, they have one of them down days. Look at these cars just zooming. Okay, you want to love that. I'm good. You just hurry up. They just zoom. What, what the, what the, oh, you know, catching me on a bad day. Let me shut up. I forgot I was on, on video. I would have stopped right there because his ass. I'm a mile away. A mile away. Beeping the horn at me. 
And I'm past halfway by the street already. He must be drunk or something. I don't know, probably on some shit. So nowadays, you really gotta leave people alone. You know, I wouldn't even say nothing to that dude. Because you don't know why we're crossing their mind. You might get out the car and start shooting me. You know? So, I mean, it's getting really bad, guys. I, I see it already. It's getting bad. So it's just the kids walking their dogs and or probably going last minute to get their little snacks and stuff at the store. The store closes at 10. So, yeah. See, my neighborhood is nice and quiet. Okay? Nice and quiet, guys. That's how it is. And that's a whole lot of noise at night, but the daytime, you don't even hear all that noise. You don't hear nothing, okay? If you shut everything off in the house, you can hear. Look how beautiful. This, I live only a few houses away from this. Is it, isn't that beautiful? How beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I, live, I live in a nice neighborhood. Yeah, nice neighborhood. It's nice and quiet. It's peaceful. So, yeah, I've got my walk. So yeah, guys, it's like, you know, you get bored, you get tired of, oh, can I just sit over here, I'll sit over here, I don't know where to sit, just aggravate it. You know, I'd be in a pool hall, I ain't lying, I'd be in a pool hall, playing pool, um, if it wasn't for this pandemic um I'll be chilling out you know for a little while yeah but you can't go nowhere you can't take no chances you know you can't take chances out there because people don't they don't take care of themselves anyway they don't care I care I got kids I want to be around for my kids so I can't afford to go crazy out there like other people do. I won't do it. But um, I mean, I don't get bored in the house. There's always something to do. I find something to do. But you know, today's like, damn, it's one of those days. It's like go out in the van. I was supposed to go out and get propane today. But I just chilled in the house. I was waiting for a delivery um, of my Pepsi, guys. Because I get it cheaper through Amazon than, you know, uh, when I was at Costco. Yes, I was like, damn. You know? I, I didn't even have... Well, I did bring some um, tuna. Uh, tuna steaks. Big bag. Two big bags. I got two big bags. I got two big bags of the jumbo shrimps. Two big bags. I got the two or three packs of kibasi. I got a big pack of uh, toothpaste. I found my Listerine. Um, cheaper. Four in a pack? I'm like, whoa. You know, it was cheaper than um, Amazon. But, let me tell you something, guys. Um, uh, you know, these, these um, Costco stores, and, I mean, not Costco, BJ's. What am I talking about? Uh, BJ's, okay? They're supposed to sell stuff by the bulk and single, right? Ain't no damn thing in there single. Everything is by the bulk, guys. Everything is by the bulk. It either comes in threes or fours or a box. So, I can't do that kind of grocery shopping. Um, I can't. I can't afford to do shopping like that. I just just with those four packs of um, the freezer stuff and the kaba you know the kabasi and that and the listerine and the toothpaste and what else did I bring in here? Um, gosh, what else did I get? Oh, I got me some sets of pajamas with the sweaters. Uh, well, these are dressing sweaters, you know, like with a pair of jeans or something. 
And um, I got pajama bottoms. Because they're nice and warm. They keep me warm, you know. So once I'm warm, I don't have any arthritis pain. If I'm cold, then everything hurts. So winter's coming around. Lord have mercy. Here goes popping that vitamin D. Um, guys, I take high doses of vitamin D. Prescribed by my doctor because of the arthritis. Um, I say arthritis eats your vitamin D. So I get 50,000 IUs once a week, guys. 50,000 IU. Yeah, I figured that dose out. I think it's like a whole bottle of something that you, you buy at the store. And you take one or two or one a day. It's like a whole bottle for me. If you if you add um, the 60 um, gel caps in there um, by 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams, I take 50,000 I use. So you're talking about I'm popping a whole bottle in one little blue, green little blue pill. <laughs> Jelly. <laughs> and you're taking the light little yellow one, right? But once I take it, it's like it makes me sweat, okay? I could feel like my body heating up. And uh, it'll make me sweat, okay? So I took it um, last, uh, I, suppose I take it every Saturday, but I haven't taken it. So I was cold all these days. I'm like, damn, I was under the covers, shaking and stuff. And I was like, damn. And I knew it was my vitamin D. So I pulled out the bottle, took one, and then I started feeling, you know, back to normal and then um, the next night I slept with no, very no covers on me and then uh, with these PJs that are warm um, I'm good I'm good I wouldn't be out here right now a little bit of breeze it's enough to make me cold and then my bones start aching so I have the right is kicking in so guys besides that Heck with the pains, aches and pains. Let's forget about the aches and the pains. Um, yeah, don't you have one of those days that you just, that you just, um, just look around like, damn, what the hell's going on? When is this going to end? How long? You know? And you get frustrated when you look at your bank account. It's like, dang, if it wasn't for all this, um, sh I could be traveling somewhere. You know, what the fuck? These damn bugs over here on the... Oh, Fresh, you know those, those, those lantern bugs? They pop up sometimes. That's why I don't sit on here either. They pop up sometimes and I smash them. I put an um, a empty uh, water bottle over there in that corner. They say if you put a an empty bottle on the corner of your house or something outside, they tend to, to uh, uh, get in there. I don't know. I haven't checked it. I caught two of them. <laughs> I'm messing around out here one day and saw two of them. So that's why I have to be sweeping these leaves because these, excuse me, these leaves, you know, they could be hiding under the leaves. These leaves will crawl up to, and not in, inside because it's very sealed. But, you know, they'll be around, you know, the edges. So that's why I, I'm a slave here. The lady, old lady upstairs said she was going to call the, the, the real estate people and tell them, listen, you know, real downstairs, she's, she's the one always out there, you know, keeping up with all the all that crap out there, the, the leaves and the garbage and sweeping the sidewalk and sweeping all the damn thing around here. And um, to give you a rent discount, man, no, 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 don't even go there. I told her, don't, don't even go there. I don't want no rent discount because I'm not going to be a slave for this mess. If I go away, who's going to do it? So I told her, no, 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 don't tell her nothing, because um, uh, she's going to want a discount, 50 bucks or something for my rent. Uh, I'll pay I'll pay my rent. I'll pay my rent, but I do it because, I, you know, I do it for, for myself, and um, just to, you know, look decent. It's just those leaves. I mean, it's just nothing really, you know, um, it's not like people are throwing stuff in here, and I have to take care of it. It's just the leaves. They're just not, you know, that's, that's, um, what do you call it? Nature. It's just nature. So, um, it used to be worse, but they cut them trees down. But, you know, they still have a little bit. So, they're drying up. Once, you know, it's not going to be for long. So, it's better than last time. Before they cut them trees, oh, man. It was like a rug, okay? 
I mean, you can bushcraft under the leaves right here if you wanted to because that's how many leaves I had coming down here because we were in like sidewalk level, down three steps. So everything that when the wind blows is going to blow it in here because they don't close those darn gates. I don't even close them anymore. At nighttime, I do. Um, but they don't close it. Upstairs, they come down their steps right there, and they they forget. You know, you, they see everything nice and clean. They hear me. Because I be making some noise, so they hear me. But even the lady next door, she don't do a damn thing. She don't do a damn thing. She's probably taking a nap to go hang out tonight. I stay away from her because she be all over the place. She be all over the place. Guys, they take so many chances. I'm like, he's crazy. And then you're out there working with people, drawing blood on other people. That's why you have to be careful. Even when you go to the doctors or you go to the hospital to get checked or, or whatever, you know, you got to be careful because you don't know where they be hanging out. Don't, they, don't, they ain't no angels. They have a life too. Just because they got scrubs on don't mean that they are, um, um, you know, um, uh, don't do things, you know. They have a life too. They're they're normal people like everybody is. They don't come out of the hospitals and stuff to go into a church. Not all of them. I'm gonna go right into a bar. Yeah. And then the next day they breathing all in your face. And you go, oh, he's a doctor. Well he he ain't God. You know? He just like you. He's just taking care of you, medicating you and giving you whatever, but um um he ain't God. So be careful. Be careful. So yeah, my baby girl's laying down already. She had a long week. She came home like 11 p.m. A couple of days, since 6 to 30 in the morning to 11 o'clock p.m. Well, I'll be stretched out too. And um, I was like, damn, it's a Friday night. I mean, you know how many Fridays have passed and I haven't even thought about it, but damn. Winter is gonna be here soon. The nicest, the weather is really nice. Like to be, you know, have a sweater, a nice pair of jeans, and you know, some some nice, you know, coffee uh, shoes on. Not shoes, but you know, something floppy. You know, some clogs or something. Go shoot some damn pool at the pool hall or something like that. You know, but um, no, no, I'd be mad. I'd be mad when I can't play pool. Man, one day I'm gonna throw the whole living room around and give me a pool table. <laughs> Put a pool table in here. Heck yeah. I had one in uh, I had an apartment one day. I had a big dining room. A dining room, yeah. You think I had a dining room table in it? You know, because the kitchen was big enough to have a table. So I had a glass table. I love glass tables. Here I don't have a table, guys. I don't have a table to sit down and eat my dinner. Because, um,. Because I have a big uh, living room set, you know, and it's like a, it's supposed to be like a L shape, but um, I don't have it like that. I have one on one wall and one across the other side, and because I have these suitcases, I pack with stuff in case you guys to run, you know, it's like my emergency stuff, a little bit of stuff I have here. If I have to run, I, you know. That's my, that's my suitcase to run the hell out. And um, I have like a big bin of medication. You know, my asthma stuff and stuff that I just don't in there I need. Now, you, you know, the pharmacies are getting ripped off. Um, I'm going to call my pharmacy tomorrow and see if I have any refills of anything. I don't know. I have stuff, but I don't know if I have any refills of any kind. Let me have it. Let me have it. <laughs> but I know he won't be robbed. My pharmacy will not even be robbed. Because um, he closes early, and he has these big metal gates, guys. I mean, you would have to tear the building down before that gate comes off. So that's that's a good thing, you know. These pharmacies they have gates. Then you put the gates down, and sometimes, um, well, he closes like a seven, maybe dark already. But you know what he does? Um, uh, he's right downtown. Um, he puts the gate down, and even on the door, he brings that gate down, and the, the door one has two. One has, like, you know, uh, a bar between each other, you know, spaced down, and then he has the, the, the complete one, the garage one, 
So until he closes, um, you have to call him from, you know, that you're picking up and he'll have his stuff ready if you're going by 7 o'clock or something like that. Or he'll say, I'll, I'll bring it over to you. Like one time he did bring my medication over here. It was almost, you know, it was, he was, it was like 6.30 and I was going to go get it. But um, he said, no, 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 I'm closing. I'll, I'll drop it off. So he came and he dropped it off. He's a good pharmacy. He's a good pharmacist. So I don't have a... I don't have Walgreens. I used to have Walgreens, but they used to charge me $10 cold payment per bottle of medication. If, you know, um, God forbid I had a cold and they give you antibiotics and then what else? Cough syrup and, and um, what the heck else? Whatever they give you. Um, if, it, you know, if you have two or three bottles, $10 per, per um, bottle of whatever you get. So I got tired of that for so many years. I mean, when I was working, I didn't care because I was making the money. Yeah, I was making the money. I didn't care. I had good times when I was working. But once I couldn't work anymore, and when I took the retirement plan, and then my check wasn't as big as I had to make different adjustments, but at least I didn't have to go to, you know, I could have still got me another job, but I decided to take a break. And I had to downsize every damn thing. And then I had disaster after disaster after disaster, and then arthritis kicked in me, and then that was, I was done. What the heck? That's a vehicle. There ain't nobody partying around here. That's a vehicle. Okay? Gone. It's a vehicle. You don't hear no noise really on this block, guys. Or around. See how I walked around? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful at nighttime? I love it. I, I love walking, guys. I love walking. I miss walking. I miss um, riding my bicycle because sometimes it'd be hot. Sometimes it'd be hot. So I, I, I haven't ridden like in a few weeks. My, my, my regular bicycle, my pedal bicycle, not my bike. Because if I had my motorcycle, I would not be sitting here, guys. I would not be sitting here. <laughs> I'd be out there getting that nice fresh air. Oh yeah. I'll be cruising. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Girl, I'm a lot of fun. I'm a lot of fun. It's just that I've had so many ups and downs. I just sometimes can't believe it. Can't believe it. You know what? I call my friend. Remember I told you that she was mad at me? I called her today, right? Check up on her, you know. Uh, is, I said, you know, let me just check up on her. I don't take things, uh, I don't take things seriously from her. But I, you know, I kind of step back a little bit. Yeah, you have to. So, um, her son flew from Florida out here. Um, she has a townhouse with three bedrooms, guys. Hey, if I had, if I had something like that, woo. Um, and everything is spacious, you know, it's like a maze, you get lost in there, but it's beautiful. They don't pay no utilities. And she barely pays any rent because she's on that program. And, um, her son is staying with, let me see, you got four kids, they're, they're, they're teenagers already, plus the wife. And, um, they can't even stay in her house because, um, she has rooms rented. They're not even paying her any rent. And um, so they they flew over here, and they're staying in another town, ooh, another town, with her other son that lives in New Jersey, and he has a small house, a small you know family, two, uh, one family house. So it's very it's small. So I said, they they got I know they crunched up in there, because tomorrow, um, one of her grandkids is birthday. So they're going to do a big party. They're going to throw a big party. She has the flu so bad, guys. Oh, I told her, how are you going to go over there with that flu you got, girl? Woman, don't you think? I mean, you, you know, you, you, you said you got four grandkids coming from Florida. In total, she has like 14. In total, it's 14, guys. 14 grandkids. And I said, okay, 14 plus the grown-ups... And whoever else they might have invited, uh, family, family. Um, so I, um, I said, so what you doing today? You know, 
And she's like, oh, 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 and coughing and carrying on, and her voice is so hoarse, you can feel the stuffiness all up in her nose. I said, didn't you get a moment that you go get checked? Oh, what I tell her that for? She, I know if she can get through the phone, she would have squeezed my damn neck. I said, just to be on the safe side, because... You've had that flu for, for two and a half weeks. That's not normal, you know. You cut the flu out with antibiotics, and you you start getting better, and you've been souping up yourself and everything, and you still you sound worse. You sound worse than a, than a broken tractor trailer. So I was like, sheesh. I'm like, and you going out? There? Oh yeah, those are my grandkids, my family. I said, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Nice, nice, nice. You know, so I said, so what you doing? And what are you cooking to take over? Oh, um, I bought um, five pork shoulders. Five pork shoulders, right? That's what they call it, by name. Five pork shoulders to put in the oven t tonight. So they'll be ready for tomorrow to, to for the for the for the birthday party. I'm like, okay, you bought you bought five pork shoulders. Okay, did you do any groceries? Besides the pork shoulders, because prices are rising. I said, how much did you pay for the pork shoulders? Oh my God, they were twenty-seven dollars each. What? They just cost like five ninety-nine for a pork shoulder. No, twenty-seven dollars I pay. Uh, six ninety-nine a pound, seven ninety-nine a pound, something like that. I said, that's like a hundred and something dollars. Said, did you do groceries while you was out there? Oh my God, no, um, no. Went to the party tomorrow. What, what groceries for what? For what? You know, I eat anything. I eat some bread and cheese. You know, you know my routine. I'm like, but you ain't, you ain't, you, you, you really, you really don't listen, do you? You got coffee and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got three packs for ten dollars. Uh, um, uh, the beginning of the month when I got my social security check. Okay, okay. Oh, you got three. Three things of coffee, and this is the middle of the month. And things are getting really bad, and I've been out there, so I know. I don't take her with me because she doesn't take care of herself, and she's surrounded by people they don't do either, so I can't drag her around in my van to, 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 to the store and, you know, shop around for this and for that. No. So that's why she's mad at me, because sometimes she got to take an Uber or whatever. I don't care, you know. Um, so she's taking... The one up the street, right now, to the, I seen there was no light in the house when I passed by. Maybe right by the store. Um, I know she out there partying. Um, she's going with her. Okay. And she has the flu really bad. I mean, really, 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 really bad. I mean, she sounds awful. She sounds like she needs to go into the ER room. No lie, guys. You know, and I love her to death because, you know, she, she's, a, she's a nice person. She's just hard-headed. She doesn't listen. And she thinks I'm crazy because I keep telling her and I keep pushing her. And not anymore. Not anymore. I just asked her a question today. But she knew where I was coming from because the last time I told her, I was like, listen, stuff is going high and people are just shopping. And you can't find this and you can't find that. And they made you high and they're saying this and it's going up to 40 to 54 percent and nobody's listening. And my neighbor, they be stopping up when I see them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, um, oh, um. Ah, you can't be thinking about that. You're going to go crazy. Um, you know, you're already crazy with that. I said, okay, well, leave me crazy. Leave me crazy. Leave me crazy. I'm crazy. Leave me crazy. So, she said, I'll call you back. You know, I got a phone call. I got somebody's calling me. My mom. Somebody was calling her. I said, okay, well, call me. You know, when you're not doing anything. I, we didn't call each other for like a week. And that's strange. She calls me like every day. <laughs> every day. Like at midnight, she'll call me. Because she'll not be up at that time. Even if I fall asleep in the evening time. I wake up like at midnight, okay? So, I mean, you know, what do you do? You retired and what do you do? All messed up, what do you do? Okay, uh, my back, my neck is good today. My back is a little painful because I pushed the darn cart and okay, pull all that stuff. Oh, guys, I didn't tell you the story what happened at Peaches. <laughs> guys, let me tell you this. You're gonna be cracking up now, okay? Listen, just forget about all that other mess I said <laughs> for a <five> second. <laughs> Ah, listen, but you love the neighborhood, right? Didn't you love the tour in the neighborhood? At least, at least, at least, yeah. Give me a thumbs up for that one. You see, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice and peaceful. I can hear airplanes. You can hear um, 
You can hear the leaves when they, you know, when the when the wind hits them, and they move. You can hear the crackling of the leaves moving in the on the on the sidewalk. So, guys, let me tell you what happened at BJ's yesterday. I get to the checkout counter, right? My daughter-in-law, she did the uh, to scan yourself, whatever. I can't deal with that because if something goes wrong, um, then you gotta call, you know, and then it just takes longer. So, <laughs> I, I, I put everything on the, you know, the register that the lady was um, taking care of me. And um, I was just standing there. So, she, you know, she asked, you know, is this something that um, I have to be waiting for or something to take care of me? Oh, I just need your card, your membership card. I said, oh, I'm sorry, because it's the first time that I come in here to shop. I, I, um, I always do online and pick up. So, oh, no, it's okay. So, so I put everything on the, on the counter, right? And she starts ringing up all of the stuff, okay? And I didn't look at what the heck she was ringing up, which I normally do, but, you know, I just didn't. You know, I got carried away with all, you know, with, with, with the baggage and the stuff. And, and I said, damn, they don't give you no bags here either. Holy crap. So, you know, you got you got seafood. Are you, oh, I had the steaks. The steaks were $20. I had I had a, a steak sandwich today. Today I took a... Um, a, a a chunk of whole steak, put it in a in a in a, in a roll, and slap some pepper jack cheese in there. Stuck it in the microwave. Oh, I had a feast for lunch today. I'm still full. I'm still full, guys. So she rang everything up, and um, she said something twenty-seven and something. I thought it was like uh, uh two twenty-seven because I figure I got like two hundred dollars on this card. I mean, counting. Counting, you know, are twelve dollars and twelve dollars and seventeen dollars and seventeen dollars and the steak was nineteen and whatnot and the toothpaste and oh a box of panini 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 um I said all of that and I don't know what the heck else I took I, oh my, the pajamas okay they were twelve ninety nine for two and I I, had, I bought four I'm like it's like two hundred dollars in this court damn is that even full <laughs> <laughs> the car's not even full. I think I got like two hundred dollars in here. So I told my daughter, "Yo, let's get out of here." You know, because if I keep going around in circles, I'll keep shopping. Then I'll be broke as fuck. You know, and I gotta get by. You know, another two weeks. So um, uh, and I get my check two days before the first because it's pension checks. You know, so they pay me like they pay the military. They get paid two days ahead or the day before the first. Okay. If it's, a, if it's a Sunday the 1st, then we get our checks on a Friday. The Social Security people get their trip, our check on the 1st. If the 1st falls on a holiday, they might get it, I think, the day after. I don't know how that works. But I get it according to, uh, um, like the military do. You know, they get it, like I said, the day before, two days before the 1st, if it's um, not a Sunday. No. So anyway. Hello, how you doing? Good. So, she rang up my stuff, right? And I, and um, and I was just, you know, all I heard was twenty-seven. I said, oh, two hundred twenty-seven. So, um, so I just put my card and put my PIN number, and um, you know, approved, and I took my card, you know, removed the card. So I removed the card and I'm securing my card in my wallet and whatnot. And I get there, I grab my card, she gives me a receipt. And I just keep going. And my daughter-in-law, she's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Um, you, she only charged you $27 and, 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 and something. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's, it, it's, it's like $200 in here. Maybe it's two twenty-seven, but I don't know $27. What are you talking about? She's like, no. She said $27 and, and, and some change. So by that time that we, me and her, you know, I'm talking, without even me look, I had the receipt in my wallet when I was securing my debit card because I have a tendency to put my debit card in my pocket or anywhere and I drop it and lose it and it's happened to me, you know, in the time in the past and I can't afford to lose my debit card because then you got to wait 7 to 14 days in the mail or go to the bank and withdraw money and I ain't, you know, I didn't want to do, I, I you know, I, it happened to me in the past so many times. So... I now every time I shop, I secure my card in my wallet, okay, and then I do what I gotta do. 
instead of just jamming everything in your pocket. You got your car keys in your pocket, your driver license for an ID, um, your debit card. That's how I used to roll. And I learned the hard way. Okay, carry your wallet, secure your stuff. Don't be in a hurry when you're paying for items. Take your time. Uh, pay for your items. Take your time. Put it back there so you don't lay it around and lose it. No, I didn't listen. And when I was losing my stuff, like, every year would happen to me. And this is not the time to be losing your debit card. Because before, the banks used to give you, like, a temporary one right there. But not anymore. Not anymore. Now you gotta wait for it in the mail. So, um, by that time, we are at the door. Okay? So... I'm still thinking, you know, she's like, I don't know, I mean, and I don't know what that really didn't capture what the heck she was saying, but I didn't even, I had the receipt inside my wallet because I stuck it, the receipt in the wallet because I do have the Amazon shopper panel and every receipt I get, I'll save it in my wallet. I'll ask for the receipt, but I got the receipt and I just put it in there and I secured my, my debit card and, um, zip my wallet, my little, you know, thing back and, um, kept going, you know, so to leave. And uh, because with the Amazon shopper, pa um, shopper panel, you scan your, take a photo of that receipt, and it converts you into money, and then you shop with stuff. I got my Pepsis today for free, okay? I got my Pepsis. I got three cases of Pepsi for $9, and it was free. And I still have a couple of dollars on the shopper Amazon, pa um, shopper, uh, uh, Amazon shopper panel to shop for other stuff. But I, I'm leaving it there for if I need something. So, um, so yeah, guys. So, here comes the guy, right? Here comes this big dude. Oh, hey, how are you? I said, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, I've never walked up in here, but this is, this is killing my back. This cart, and this is like a five-mile walk around here. And this, this, my daughter and mom, um, on her made me walk five miles in here. If I, you know, if I had a... Uh, I bought a little pedometers to, to measure how many, how many how many steps I took in this store. This is too big. I'll continue to shop and pick up. It's always shop and pick up. I never come in here. So he's like, oh yeah, the store is big. So he's like, do you have your receipt? I'm like, oh yeah. So I got my 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 wallet and took out the the paper and went on even long and I gave it to him. And he's looking at it. And he's looking at the card. You know, I'm used to that because when you go to Walmart, they do the same thing. But at Walmart, you're used to them stopping you and whatnot. At BJ's, I, I didn't know they would do that. So he's looking at the card. I'm like, what the heck is he, you know? And he says, uh, ma'am, you have uh, four items. I'm like, four items? I got more than four items. He said, no, but you got four items on the car. I said, well, what's wrong with the four items? I'm missing four items or what? Because there's more than four items. I can see there's more than four items in the car. So he's like, no, they only scanned you for four items. What? Let me see that. So he says, see, it only says four items. So I'm looking. Holy crap. I said, well, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't try to get over on nothing. I mean, I'm at the register. So uh, that's her fault. That's the lady's fault. And I didn't even look when she charged me because I would have told her there can't be no, what? How much is it? $27.50 something cents. I'm like, I know, damn sure ain't, this ain't no $24.50. And then my, I looked at my daughter-in-law. She's like, mm -hmm. so, you know, because we just, you know, she, she just kept going and I kept telling her no. And she was like, I think she, I don't know. She, she didn't, she, I think she charged you only 20, 27 dollars and some change. I'm like, no, 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 I, that stuff was like 200 dollars. And you know, and I had already put my wallet into my big, you know, um, my little backpack. Okay, I have like a little leather backpack, but I, um, I put it on one shoulder and I had the other wallet with my cards and I have it in there. So I just put it in there and I didn't bother. I said, oh, no, 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 I'll go right back over there. So I went back over there to the lady. I said, excuse me, ma'am. She was she was scanning somebody else. The, the lady that was behind me, she was still scanning her. And she, I said, excuse me? And she's like, yeah. I said, um, you scanned every item on my car because I hear you. Ting, 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 ting. But um, I, I was getting out the door, and it says that I only have four items that, that I you charged me or you scanned or something. And this stuff is not, you know, on the... On the on the receipt. 
So she was like, oh, the machine sometimes go bad and doesn't scan the stuff the way it's supposed to be. I'm like, well, aren't you supposed to pay attention to that? Because I wasn't paying attention to what you was charging me. I just, you just told me to put the debit card in, so I did. I put my PIN number and said, remove the card. Didn't give me a price up there or nothing on the machine. Normally, in places I use my ATM, it'll give me the price of whatever, you know, is, it, is, the, is, is that charge okay? You put yes or no, but this machine is different. Um, so, you know, I'm, can you, you know, what, can you do this? She was like, oh, I'll just have to scan everything all over again. So here comes this kid. He Normally, he's the one that brings my stuff out to the car when I order stuff online. So and I always tip him. So he recognized me. He's like, hey, how you doing? I said, I'm fine. And you? So you got a little mask and everything. And I said, you know, uh, he said, I'll take care of you. Come on over here. So he took me to another register. So he took the scanner. Okay. I said, oh, God, I got to empty this whole thing again. And my back is hurting. So, you no, know, he took a scanner and he went on the car. He first he looked at the receipt. He said, oh, she only scanned you for the shrimps and the uh, tuna steaks and, uh, and the steak itself, the beef steak itself. And, uh, and, what, what, and the Listerine. It was four bottles of Listerine. That's just, no, it was, no, it was, no. It was the, the two, two shrimps and the two steaks. That's all she has scanned me for. And that was $27.52. So... He scanned everything else with the, you know, with that gun-looking thing. I call it the, the food taser. <laughs> That's what I call that thing. So, um, he said two hundred and uh, one dollar. Uh, two hundred and what? Plus twenty-seven? Or did you take out the twenty-seven and rescan it all over again? He's like, no, it's two hundred and one dollars. Um, without me scanning the um, the four items because you already paid for the four items, I only scanned you for the rest of this. I'm like two hundred and one. Are you serious? He's like he started laughing. <laughs> he started laughing. He's I said, Jesus, oh no no no, this store is not for me, you know, um, for me to come and shop for food. I mean, I only got two bags of shrimps, um, the two. Um, uh, what do you call it? The the tuna steaks. They come in little packets inside. Well, pretty big, you know, not not that big, but you know, that was for my for my daughter. And um, I said those four items were twenty seven dollars. And then that's all the meat. And then the steak, you know, but that wasn't charged yet. That was for that was nineteen ninety eight something like that. And um, uh, I'm like, dang. Two hundred and one dollars and some change plus twenty seven dollars and, and fifty something cent. I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, ah, I can't shop in here. I can't come in here and shop. I told Angie, listen, I told my daughter and all listen. Um, you got the a card, uh, you take over the store, okay? You yeah, you shop like that. I don't I can't shop like that, okay? Um, with two hundred and fifty something dollars, I would have went to Walmart, okay, and I would have came out with a whole cart full, okay, and I probably would have found the darn tuna <laughs> and the jumbo shrimp for cheaper, and um, I know I wasn't gonna have no steak <laughs> or um, or pajamas for that price, you know, but um, I would have got food. I wouldn't come back with pajamas because I don't even look at the clothing section anymore. Heck, I, heck who gonna, where am I going to go? Why am I going to buy clothes for? I ain't going nowhere. So I'll be in PJs. And um, and she was she was cracking up. She was laughing. She was cracking. She was rolling. I was like, I was two through. I said, $201. Guys, I'm still thinking about it. It's still hurting in my pocket, okay? It gives me a headache to think about it. Two hundred and one dollars and some change, plus twenty-seven dollars and fifty-something change. I said, "Good, ooh, wow!" You know, I'm like, "Dang, I would have brought a whole cart full. I could have got on Amazon and got a heck of a stuff, but then I would get my shrimps and stuff. But shit, I would have went to Walmart, Aldi, something like that." And I would have got some beans. I would have brought some more rings. I would have brought different kind of pasta. Not a whole box of panini. Because that's all they had on set was a panini. 
And um, I do have macaronis and spaghetti number eights and all that kind of stuff. I didn't have panini, so I took panini. But damn, there's eight boxes in um in the one box. I don't know. How to, I don't remember how much they held. I didn't even want to look at the receipt. Okay, I haven't looked at the receipt. I put it back in my wallet. Cause you know to scan the shopper penalty. <laughs> so yeah, that happened to me. So then I walk back out there and I give the guy now two receipts, not one but two. And he looks at it, you know, and, and I noticed when the lady was scanning stuff and I was, you know, looking at my daughter-in-law, she was still at the door waiting for me. And I look at the, you know, the door and the guy's over here, the big guy, he's over there like, you know, checking out that I was, I said, what the heck, you think I'm stealing stuff or taking stuff or not paying for stuff? You know, I ain't going to jail for no damn fool. So, um, you know, that's the first thing that came to my mind when I look at, towards her and I see the guy over there you know he's I know he's looking at me he's looking at him he's looking at me and you know I can see him his gestures you know like you know between the 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 register and the thing you know that I'm like what the heck is wrong with him I ain't gonna walk out here with you know not paying for stuff I have money to pay for the stuff I wouldn't come in here with no money to pay for stuff I know there was over about $200 in there, so I know I can pay that. You know, if it was $300, I would have been able to pay it also. But, you know, um, no, I'm not going to go in the store back that crazy. What the heck? So, I was, uh, we was cracking up in the car. She said, Ada, you almost got over with $27. I said, get over on what? Well, if he didn't look at the, how many I you had, he, if he would have just looked at the receipt, just to, just to look that you had a receipt in your hand, he probably would have said, go ahead. It would have been Walmart. He went, okay, my hey, you know, because they know your ass in Walmart anyway. That's what she told me. <laughs> I'm like, well, it would have been Walmart, and it would have been a different story. But if you almost walked out of it with uh, half a cart. What half a cart? You know, half a cart. So, um... I'm like, no, I, I really didn't notice. I didn't. No, I know you wasn't paying attention. You was over there watching me scanning stuff. I said, yeah, I was watching you scanning stuff. I don't know how to do with that machine. You know, the machine fails, and then you got to um, uh, get somebody to help you. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, um, oh, then when I got my Pepsis, check this out. These Pepsis were supposed to be here two days ago. But they have a lot of new drivers, guys. I'm telling you, they have a... Walmart joined, Walmart workers, the cash registers, they joined with Amazon. That's why you don't see too many cash register people working. Excuse me, guys. I sit here, nobody sees me, but I see everybody. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, um, they know me at Walmart. So, guys, the reason why you don't see too many um, register open in uh, any Walmart anymore is because they joined with um, Amazon. So, those workers at the Walmart stores are working at the Amazon facilities. They have a lot of new drivers, guys. A lot of new drivers. I'm getting fed up with them. Today I was so angry. I said, I'm not going to shop Amazon anymore. And, um, and I was, I had, I had, I had my, my window open in a way that I can see when they approach because I was waiting for my darn Pepsi today because they were supposed to get here yesterday and I kept getting notifications that it was going to be running late, and running late, and running late. And then today I couldn't go get my propane because I said the same thing wrong. And normally they leave it right there on the sidewalk. Right there, past the gate, right there. Anybody would just grab the box and go. People are stealing their Amazon stuff, not here, but in other areas they're doing that. So this area, because it's like away from the downtown area, okay? It's like closer to the to the to the highway to get to New York. So um this area is very nice and quiet up here. It's away from the noisy part and the waterfront that, that you can see Staten Island across the other side. That's the noisy, that's the area I don't, I don't go to. So I don't want to live nowhere down there. I used to. Got the heck out of there. To the other end of town. <laughs> that's what I'm on the other end of town. So guys, 
I'm waiting for him today because, you know, it's if I have one thirty to something. No, that didn't happen. I didn't get here no one thirty to 2.30. Two then 2.30 to 2.45. No, no, it didn't happen either. So I'm still looking at my note. All day I spend my day looking at my notification, you know, my orders, my Pepsi. Where the heck is my darn Pepsi? And I had a craving for Pepsi, guys. But damn, if I was going to go to the corner board, they're going to pay $2 for a bottle of Pepsi. So, um, you can't buy no case there. You got to buy it in the fridge. One will cost you $2.25. I think I heard $2.25 now for one bottle of Pepsi, guys. I said, no, 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 no. So, I'm waiting for my Pepsi. I got three boxes. They're little, ten, you know, 10-ounce cans. But for $9, you get... 10 in a, in a box, you get three boxes, shoot, that's 30 cans right there, so, um, here comes the, the kid, okay, about 6.30, here comes, so, I, I hear the boom, he threw the box right there, from over there, he threw the box over here, the box opened, guys, the box was already sliced open, so, I'm over here getting up the couch to catch up to him, and I opened the door, and I said, wait a minute, I'm missing um, my daughter's milkshakes. There's just still some milkshakes that I'm waiting for, right? Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So I was waiting on, 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 her, on her diet milkshakes, and, um, and uh, they came uh, today on my lap. So it was two boxes. So here we come, and throws the the other box over here. I'm like, no, he didn't. So now I open the door. I said, excuse me, are you new? Are you new? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's my first day at work. I said, what, did they teach you how to read the instructions? Uh, instructions? I said, listen, you're going to get into a lot of trouble. I want you to lose your job. And this is your first day. Come over here. You know? So he stood right there, and I'm down here. Let me, let me give you, let me run, let me run it down to you, okay? Because, um, I never seen you, so that's why I'm asking you. I know normally who comes, okay? They know me already, because I, I, I do a lot of orders. I said, but you're new. I don't want to get you in any trouble, okay? Because I know you need your job. Everybody who has a job, they need their job. I don't want you to lose your job. Not because of me, because other people are going to start complaining. On the app, there is a notification thing that you... You get rated to us, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you a good rating, okay? Even though you all messed up. Oh, but no, I brought your orders. I said, no, you didn't read my instructions. You were supposed to leave it down here and not up there. I don't live up there, okay? I don't live on the sidewalk. My door is not by the sidewalk, and I don't want it by my door either. If you read the instructions, it'll tell you to leave it by the steps by my door, away from the bypassers. So let me show you. It's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I said, okay. So I'm not going to mess up your rating. Okay? I'm going to give you a good rating. I'm going to tell you, you were great. Okay? If I ever catch your ass again, I said, throwing my stuff. Okay? Stop throwing the packages too. I said, I heard the bang. Okay? I brought the box inside because I thought everything was in that box. And it's already open because you, you you banged it, you, you threw it, you threw it. Now, what happens if I had a camera or a light bulb or some kind of something that's electronic and you throwing stuff? You don't know what's in that box. So, you're breaking my stuff now, okay? So, listen, for your, for your, for your benefit, okay, don't do that, don't do that, okay? Take the extra 30 seconds to put it where it's supposed to be, okay? Take your time, that extra 30 seconds, and carefully handle the package because you don't know what's in there, okay? And um, and that way you'll be fine. You get good ratings and you get a raise and you're going to be in Amazon for a long time. But if you would do that to other people, you're going to get some bad ratings and they're going to fire your ass and then you ain't going to have no job, honey. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you, you know, it's just, they, they, I just started today, they, they gave us some classes, but that was it, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just telling you, okay, when you get to the address, you put on the notification that it was delivered, and make sure you read the instructions, okay, because everybody has instructions, so, um, 
read the instruction area, okay? And um, do what it says. And then you, you screen that. You didn't even screenshot the picture, did you? Holy Christ. Said, oh, my God. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I said, see? Now, you already messed up already, too. Because how am I going to give you a rating if you didn't take a picture? But it's going to say deliver. So they're still going to send me a notification. How was the delivery without a picture? And you're supposed to take a picture of where you left the packages. So... Listen, just for your benefit, I said, you know, follow the instructions. Make sure you use the picturing thing, okay? And follow instructions because you're going to be getting bad rating, and that's why there's a lot in your workers also too, okay? They don't give up. They don't care to replace you. So, listen, take your time. Don't rush. Get your job done the right way. Don't let nobody rush you. And get it done the right way, and you'll be good, okay? So... I'll catch up with you maybe sometime next week or whatever. If you're back around here. It's like, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> That's what he said. Thank you for help. Oh, no. Thank you for helping me. Lee. You're so sweet. I said, I just don't want you to lose your job. Because there's so many jobless people out here. People that don't want to work. He's like, I know nobody wants to work. But I need money. I, I, got, I, got, I got bills to pay. I'm like, God bless you, honey. Go ahead. Okay? So he's like, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. I said, you're welcome. So he kept, you know, he just kept looking back with his orange. He had orange all out. He had the, the uniform, you know, the blue shirt, but he had an orange because it was it was dark already. It was six thirty, but it was dark. Uh, no, it was like six forty five. Yeah, it was dark already. So he had that orange, you know, um, construction um, looking um, net jacket. So yeah, guys, that's what happened at BJ's, and then that's what happened with um, my Amazon delivery today. <laughs> And as soon as I got in there, um, I, I opened one box that had already been opened. And I was ready to snatch one box of Pepsi uh, uh, and, and, and tear it up and, and gobble that down, okay? But um, no, uh, the box that fell open was the milkshakes. My baby, uh, baby girl's milkshakes that uh, arrived. The other three boxes that were missing, they arrived today. So, um... I went to the, and they were big boxes. Yeah, they were big boxes, heavy. So, um, so I opened up the other box, and, um, because when he brought it, I was scared. So that one he didn't throw. He didn't throw. So I, you know, I just, I just ripped it up with my hand, and, um, and, and, uh, and, and, and tore, tore up that, 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 um, the cardboard of, uh, of the Pepsi and, and took that Pepsi and wiped it and, do, 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 and I gobbled that down. My daughter was like, Hey, Ma, is that bad? I'm like, yeah, I had a craving for it. Why don't you just get at the store? You would have called me. I would have brought it for you. I'm like, I ain't paying no damn $2 to 25 for no darn Pepsi. I know you would. If you didn't get them today, I know before they closed the store, you would have went over there. I said, yeah, I would have went and got it, but no. So she started cracking up. <laughs> she started cracking up, so she went to bed. And uh, so let me catch up with... Um, Somebody out here. <laughs> oh, uh, off the wall pepper. All right, listen, I got to go, okay? Get, uh, find off the wall pepper too. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, it's time to be focused on the nitty gritty. This is down now to like the thread, okay? We're down now to the thread, guys. We're hanging to the thread now. Now is, 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 um, is, oh, that is chilly already. Um, cool breeze but it feels good inside the house because over here i got some nice fresh air in that window coming in and you can see let me show you something like that i was telling you yesterday look look if you look see it's mirrored okay <laughs> it's mirrored you try to look inside look at that try to look inside you can't see nothing my tv is on my tv is on guys my TV is on and there's lights on in there. There's lights on in there. You can't see nothing. Let me see. Maybe through the edge of the window. No, you can't see nothing. 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 But if you look through here, if you look through here, you'll see some light. Right? 
Yeah, if you look through there, you see light because the window's open. But if you look through the regular, okay, it's 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 it's, it's um it's glass. So you try to look in at night, you don't see nothing. You'll see yourself. <laughs> DIY tricks, guys. DIY tricks. So yeah, nice, nice job. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do some odds and ends. Look at this. I insulated my window for the winter, guys. Look. Not a DIY, not a DIY, guys. Save your money, save your money for the heat. Look, this is that window insulating um, paper. It's thin, but it does the job. No draft, guys, no draft, nothing. I've always used it. I've, I've been using this for years through the winters. In the summertime, I pulled it off, but I put it back before. So this I did it um, a couple of weeks ago, okay? I still um. I won't do this one. If I do this one, it'll only be half because that's the window that I use to open a little bit to kind of vent, to give some clean ventilation, even though I have my purifiers. But I like some fresh air from outside to always come in, you know, exchange air in and out. And um, the back uh, windows, I have it also. Um, that's been insulated since the summer because of the air conditioner. I didn't want the AC to filter out or anything, okay? So it's only, um, it's only um, put around or the whole frame of the two big windows except where the AC is, okay? And it's very secure because I have, ten, you see here, I have the, the gates, They're, it's gated, okay? I did that myself too. So you can't break a window and get in, you gotta get through those gates, okay? The back two. So yeah, guys. So listen, everybody have a good night, good evening, a good morning, and um, let's just in, uh, enjoy, okay, the moments, and make the best out of whatever situation that we're going through, and um, just take it one day at a time, guys, because you know what, this all that we can do is just one day at a time, that's all we can do, we can't do more than that, and just keep, you know, prepping, don't let your guard down. Please don't let your guard down. Um, keep your eyes open, your surroundings. Yeah, I'll be talking to y'all, but I'll be looking all over the place. You know, anybody try to come down here right now? I got a big shovel right next to me. Oh, yeah, I could be sitting out here, but I, I, got, I got my defense right over here, too. Yeah. So be careful, guys. You know, always keep your eyes on... Um, your surroundings, you know, be aware of, of everything around you. Don't don't get carried away, focus on one thing and then, you know, and you get into some, some messed up situation. Okay, so always always keep, you know, your eyes open. Not only for your 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 area, but for others too, because others do the same thing. They keep an eye on, you know, over here and you keep an eye on over there when we're out here. Um, the, um, the guy at the end, of, right there, that I got him the arthritis cream, um, at nighttime, he goes to bed late. But, you know, it's, it's dark. When you look down that dead-end street, it's a dead-end street right here. Um, it is dark. So, he be, he be right there. He be taking his little walks up and down to the corner, and he, he right there, you can't even see him. And he be looking and watching, okay? And the guy upstairs, he's there, you know, he always has that window open. Well, he just got home a, a while ago. Now his daughter came home. I haven't seen uh, my, my buddy upstairs. Um, unless she's out in out of town. I, she could be out of town because I haven't seen her. So, unless she's working a job that's, um, you know, a regular job that gets out late or something. Maybe that's why I haven't seen her because she does hair. She's a hairstylist. But, you know, stuff is kind of slow for a hairstylist right now. So maybe she got another job, and that's maybe that's why I don't see her in the daytime anymore. She must leave early, or she must work nights or something. I don't know. I don't be I don't be paying attention to 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 what's going on out here, who comes in or out. I don't pay attention. Um, well, unless my my doorbell rings or somebody knock on the door, then I know, you know. And I be like, you know, because I'm not expecting anybody. Only my daughter-in-law comes in, she'll call me. Um, even if I'm home, she knows I'm home. They got me on GPS. They don't got me on GPS. They don't got me on the down tracking device. Um, but um, they always call before they even get here. 
So today I was gonna move my band too over here, but you know what? I was I, I was just too through with it with 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 you know. I mean I had a good morning. I had a good day. I had maybe it's just a craving of Pepsi I had. That had me cranky. <laughs> yeah. See, Pepsi kicked in already. I had it before I went for my walk, so it already kicked in. So I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling now, guys. See, there's the guy. Oh, no, there's my buddy upstairs talking about her. There she comes. Oh, with her daughter. Yeah, her daughter driving already. I she almost ate that sidewalk the other day. Ooh, that curve. I was like, oh, Jesus. So, guys, I'll let you go. I'm going to say hi to my, my neighbor, okay? And then I'm going to go inside and catch up on the video so it's gonna be really quick really quick really quick really quick so i gotta catch up on the live stream everyone take care of and hearts take care guys